Hey guys, welcome to Rock and Heat. Got a sauce here for you today. Uh, I thought I had possibly reviewed it, but I looked back and I didn't see it in my recent video. So here is Hoff's Hot Sauce, the Trippy Pickle. I've had some of it. I've had it on uh, pork chop sandwiches, um, uh, chicken breast patty, like frozen chicken breast patty that you get from the store and just nuke or air fry or throw in the oven or whatever. Um, I've had it on a couple other things. I, uh, it's not burger. Well, did I put it on a burger? I might have brought it with me somewhere and put it on a burger. Um, but yeah, it's not grilling season exactly where I'm at. So uh, no hot dogs or burgers to grill up and try it on. Um, uh, I will be trying to mix some of this with my dill mustard. Um, that should be pretty good for sure. But yeah, so Hoff's Hot Sauce Trippy Pickle. Um, ingredients are cucumber, uh, distilled vinegar, dill pickle juice, jalapenos pickles, which is cucumber, white vinegar, um, water, salt, dill, garlic, and then fresh habanero peppers. So six ingredient, good, just simple, uh, getting the point across. It's supposed to taste like a pickle. Um, yeah, just good stuff here. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. Uh, what I've got here today is some uh, like homemade chicken cordon bleu style stuff. Um, it's done Hasselback style, so I get, and that's where you take like a piece of chicken and you cut it on the top of it, slits, and you kind of spread them open and stuff them uh, instead of I think typically chicken cordon bleu you like slice it towards like lengthways, open it up like that and stuff it and then bread it and bake it or something like that. I'm really not positive on the proper way, but we're going to try some on this. I don't think, I don't know if it's going to be great, but we're going to try some. See how it works out. Hope everyone's having a good day. I just heard like a twang sound. Where did that come from, Mario? <laughs> I think he's playing with his fuzzball up and down the stairs. But I'm kind of confused at where that sound exactly came from. I think I know, but it's kind of like a, I don't have a vertical top down view, but you can see it's kind of watery and then chunks come out of it. It's kind of sour, kind of like a pickle. Tastes great. I, this is definitely going to be a repeat purchase for me. I'm just going to pour some on like this. It's pretty good. I don't think it's the best pairing here, but... Not too bad. I'm just taking a break right now from doing some electrical work, eating some lunch. I've got all of our ceiling lights removed. And all of our outlets, or uh, light switch, uh, light switch is removed. And the housings for the light switch is uh, busted up and removed. There are fiberglass old ones. I'm going to have to use old work, or yeah, old work uh, uh, boxes, which has been working out okay. I was kind of iffy about them, but eh, they've been working. Uh, I'm going to replace all the 
I'm looking up at the lights here. I'm going to replace all the light boxes too because they're all real loose and old. Um, so I'll, uh, before I go to town to grab some stuff, I'm going to go up in the attic again and uh, I will remove all my light boxes, um, figure out what I need to do because we're going to put a fan in our living room. Uh, figure out what I need to do to uh, mount that up. I'm sure I'll have to put a uh, brace across. And uh, pretty sure it requires like a, a box built around it. But um, yeah, so I'm pull some of the old wire out of the uh, attic, old aluminum wire. And I'll probably also run the new copper wire down to the uh, light switches. Otherwise, yeah. Oh, did I? I think I might have forgotten to drill one of the holes for one of our light switch. Nope, that's dropping from the bottom. Right here, you see these cabinets. We're actually going to take these cabinets off and we're going to. Um, you can see all my tinctures up there. <laughs> uh, take all these cabinets off and we're going to like chop this wall down. We might have to leave a pillar like here on both sides. Uh, it's not a. I don't think it's little bearing, but then again, there's a there's it's a pretty big gap between if there's no support there from the hall here all the way to the uh, basically other end of the house. So uh, I'm guessing there's gonna need to be some support there. But otherwise, uh, yeah, that's our plans. Oh, so the light switch that controls these lights here. Um, for a lot of the light switches, I'm dropping down from the attic to the switch. Um, but for this, these lights, I'm going to have to, or I already came up and put a, a new light switch over there. But it has to come up from the bottom because we're going to take that wall out. Peach is interested in some chicken. How's it going, Peach? Sure, you turn away as soon as I turn the camera down. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. That's Hoff's Hot Sauce Trippy Pickle. Highly suggest it. It has uh, got barely any heat to it. I think most people, even not chili heads, uh, this would be tolerable for um, enjoyment. So it's pretty pretty low on the heat scale. All right, guys. Well, take it easy. I'll see you in the next one.